Hey everybody, I've got a nice truck here. It's a 2019 F350 with the 6.7 Power Stroke in it, but it's got not so nice of a maintenance issue. So the truck originally came into us with a uh, low boost code. Yeah. And this is the boost pressure sensor. And when we pulled the pressure sensor out, I've saved it, I wanna show you here. There's actually a hole in here. It's a pretty big hole, but you can't see the hole now. That's because it's plugged up with, with the carbon from the exhaust. This is a problem. My son, bless his heart, Miles made fun of me the other day for my four O's. We have an obstacle, EGR, and all the, the, the carbon that it causes, which is an opportunity, because you know we, we gotta live within the system, which is an opportunity with options. I'm gonna show you some options, here we go. So we got this problem over here. We've, uh, the customer brought it in to me. He's got 220,000 miles on it. Yeah. yeah. And he's seen our videos about all the carbon buildup and I wanna show you in here, let me get my flashlight. We've pulled the intake off of here, also the plastic intake. But look, let me show you how bad this is. Being a 2019, we're you know, four or five year old truck with 220,000 miles on it, He's, he's put some miles on it. So look how much carbon is on this wall. And I don't have to really touch it very much. It just comes off. I feel like I'm in a coal mine, you know, chipping at the coal, okay? All that comes loose. It goes down, gets in between the upper piston ring, score cylinder walls. It causes all kinds of damage. It degrades oh, your oil. Here, look at the plastic manifold, same thing. Holy moly. Look at all that crap in there. And it just ruins engines. And I mean, this is just here. Think about the, the rest of these passageways. So this is the EGR cooler. We're gonna pull that off and clean that out. We'll get all his pipes cleaned out because this thing you know, basically is ingesting. I don't know how much of its exhaust, but I'm assuming it's gotta be at least you know, 10 to 20% of it. It's continually you know, regurgitating in its own exhaust. So I am proposing an option here because we have an obstacle. The obstacle is, uh, the exhaust gas recirculation system. It's an opportunity with an option, and this option is maintenance. You're, you're, we're gonna have to start looking at this stuff as maintenance. So I'm suggesting that a guy with a truck like this, if he really wants to get the mileage out of these half million miles, is we should set up a maintenance schedule. Doesn't cost that much. Bring this in, we'll tear all this down, we'll completely clean it out, but either walnut shell blasting, some of the passages, uh, you know, oven cleaner. <laughs> Uh, would probably work pretty good. We'll have to check that out. But let's look at this as a maintenance item and just put it in your budget and start maintenance for it. And I think that and good oil changes, I think you can get the mileage out of these engines that uh, we'd all like to see. And maybe I wouldn't have so many engines to do. So seriously, if an engine builder, a guy that's doing hundreds of these, is telling you that this maintenance will keep motors out of my uh, machine shop, that might be the guy you want to listen to. Wow, this looks shiny clean. Yeah, it's been a big difference. Yeah, you can take a look down in there and actually oh, see yeah, aluminum. <laughs> wow. Yeah, especially yeah. behind this throttle body too, where this EGR comes in, it was just packed full of junk. Nice, dude. The cooler got all cleaned out Yeah, good? we... So the oven cleaner worked great? Yeah, oven cleaner nice. works really good on this stuff. All right, looks like uh, you, you're just about halfway back, huh? Yeah. Or more getting her back together. This is awesome. Good maintenance, man. Cool, dude. Yeah. Thanks, man. Looks like a great job, man. 
Yeah, I got her all You know, dude, up. what I like about you is when I look under the hood, every bracket, every hose, everything is still run. OE and sweet, honestly. I, I don't know why people don't do that. It makes such for a nice job. Makes you sleep good at night, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you'll go to bed feeling a lot better. <laughs> you don't have to go to bed going, oh, <laughs> oh. Let's fire this bad boy up. All right. I don't think we're going to be able to tell a dang bit of difference. <laughs> One thing's for sure is all that carbon, you know, it, it comes loose. I yeah. Mean, the truck's bouncing around, and all, and all of a sudden, you know, it gets a shot right into the piston, up against the cylinder wall in the ring, or then it gets exhausted, and either put back in the EGR cooler, or right in front, you know, the DPF. Yeah, get cat. caught in a valve seat or something yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, it's just nothing. So it'd be nice to start with these guys that are doing this every 80,000 miles and really see if we can get a program for them where they're getting that half million miles at like the 7.3s before yeah. we did EGR. You know, I want to start tracking this. It won't take us long to be able to prove our point. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, man, we got it done. Uh, now just take it out for a test drive, make sure everything's functioning right. Yep. And ship this thing. Thanks, dude. Yep, Appreciate good. it. Good job.